In this video, we unbox and test out the Comica Vimo S, a wireless dual channel microphone for your iPhone. It comes with two transmitters and a receiver that plugs into your iPhone's lightning port, and it can definitely improve your sound quality. So you can hear the camera audio right here. And now here is the Vimo S. I think the difference is obvious, right? It's not perfect, but for roughly hundred bucks, it's a pretty decent microphone if your expectations and requirements stay within its capabilities. Check it out. So here is the Kamika Vimo S box, and you can see the rear with some of the features highlighted there. But let's go ahead and get this unboxed, and I'm gonna showcase what this microphone is all about, and we'll do some brief testing with it as well. So inside the box, you'll find the microphone package, an accessory box, and an instruction manual as well. Uh, so we'll set that aside. So inside the accessory box, you're gonna find, outside of the silica gel pellets, you'll find the two-in-one charging slash monitoring cable. So you have the USB-C female connection and the 3.5 millimeter connection along with the USB-C male connection. And then you also have just a USB-C charging cable, a couple of dead cat windscreens, the magnetic charging case with the two transmitters and the receiver. So this charging case has everything you need in one convenient package. So you have a USB-C input for charging the charging case, and then you'll also find the receiver, which is attached magnetically. You'll see that USB-C port on the receiver. And then you'll also see the gain knob, which is orange. You can't miss it. Uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. You have the battery level indicator button. And then you have a little notch here for opening up the charging case. But before that, let's detach the receiver. And you can see it has a lightning connection there. And it attaches magnetically for easy storage. And that's why this version is called the Vimo S Me because the made for iPhone compatibility with that lightning connection. So you can just plug it into the bottom of your iPhone and then you can adjust the gain using the gain knob just like that. Now let's go ahead and open up the lid of the charging case and reveal the two transmitters. And these are attached in here magnetically as well. Uh, they have little pins at the bottom for charging, as you can see. The cool thing, you can see the battery life of each transmitter on the left and right, the four little bars indicate 25% each. So when you pull one out, you see it disappears, you put it back in, it comes back. And then the 100 in the middle represents the battery life for the case, which recharges each of these transmitters. It also has that little sensor there, so it can detect when the lid is closed and then that little display will go black. But you can always bring back the battery status just by pressing this little button right here to display. So let's have a closer look at the transmitter and you can see the Kamika logo along with the status indicator light. You have this little button here for mute or for denoise. It also can be used for pairing manually. Uh, and then on the opposite side, nothing there. But on top, you do see the microphone and that features an omnidirectional polar pattern. On the rear of the transmitter, you'll see the three contacts which align to the pins inside the charging case for charging. And of course, you see the little clip here for attaching to your clothing or other places. And I have to say, I dig how small these transmitters are, how low key they are. Yes, you have that logo, but they can be mounted like this so as to hide that logo if you're looking for a, a more low key setup. Uh, but yeah, they're just really small compared to some of the other wireless microphone packages that you may see. Now, here is the receiver that plugs directly into your iPhone via the lightning connection. And the transmitter will automatically pair with the receiver when you take it out of the case. So I have one paired and I take this one out of the case, I have the second paired and it does so automatically. But I can quickly switch between mono and stereo. Mono equals a blue light, stereo equals no light. All right, so I can record instantly within voice memos or any other application, no drivers or anything like that needed, of course. And you can see voice memos picks it up immediately as do awesome third-party apps like Ferrite. So right now I'm in model mode, but I'm gonna switch over to stereo mode and notice the difference here that it makes. So each microphone operates on its own channel. And that's gonna be very convenient depending on what your use case is. So as mentioned before, you have that built-in transmitter volume control knob to control the volume coming from each transmitter. So you can see the levels, how they change as I adjust the gain and how they change as I reduce the gain right there within Ferrite. Now, there's also that built-in mute button. So if I press the mute button there, you can see no volume at all. And then I just simply press it again to unmute just like that. Now there's also the built-in denoise mode. 
So if you just long press the button, you can see the status light turn green, indicating you're in denoise mode, which reduces ambient noise. Now, if you happen to be in a windy environment, you definitely want to take advantage of the dead cat. So just attach like that, and that's going to reduce any sort of wind noise that you may get. Now, what if you've recorded some audio, but you want to play it back? Well, when the receiver's attached, all audio is routed to it. So when you play back audio, nothing's going to come out of the iPhone speakers. So that's where this little USB port comes in because you have this Y cable connection, you plug that in, and then you'll see a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack connection, which will not only allow you to play back audio from your iPhone, but also have real time monitoring directly to your headphones from the transmitters. But what if you're recording audio and then you recognize, hey, my iPhone's dying, what to do then? Well, the Vimo S supports pass-through charging, so you can plug in a USB-C cable directly in charge, or you can use the two-in-one charging slash monitoring cable and plug into that and charge your iPhone that way. So this allows you to not only recharge your iPhone, but also have monitoring capabilities at the same time. That's pretty cool. So when you're all finished and you're ready to store your transmitter back into the charging case, all you need to do is just simply put the transmitter back in. So right now the transmitter on the top is represented by those four blue bars indicating this is charged to 100%. Now when I put this back in, you can see that has two bars, so it's roughly 50%. And the charging case itself is at 27%, but when I plug it in, of course you can recharge that as well. Okay, so now let's briefly test the Vimo S in an outdoor situation. And um, just a few feet away from the receiver, so let's walk a little bit, see how it does. So turning around is probably not a good idea. You really ideally want to be facing towards the receiver at all times. Um, you'll notice it'll start to cut out a little bit if you are a little too liberal with your movements. But as you can see right here, everything's pretty good. Still, you can still hear me perfectly fine. I'm probably 100 feet away uh, from my vehicle now. <laughs> and we'll keep walking. So this mic has up to 200 meters of range, but as you heard, you have to be in an open area facing the receiver with no obstructions. All right, so we're quite a bit away now from the receiver, and it's still apparently picking up the sound pretty good. Uh, the thing is, if you turn around or if you're start to have some issues with the, the reception. And that's a wrap. Got snow all in my shoes. <laughs> not exactly comfortable. So through my testing with the Vimo S, I didn't find a mic that excelled like greatly in any one key specific area, but I did find a microphone that is just a good everyday performer when you need higher quality recordings. For instance, here with this talking head scenario, uh, you're gonna get much better audio than you would get out of the, the camera directly. So you can hear the camera audio right here. And now here is the Vimo S. I think the difference is obvious, right? But not just that, I do also like the Vimo S because of its low key design. You can see that right here. It's a very narrow design. And if you turn it around like I have here, there's no logo. Uh, so if you're looking for that really low key look, this is gonna do it for you. Now the Vimo S also has that built-in denoise mode, which is super handy. So if you turn it around like this, of course you're gonna see the logo and everything, but you also see that little light. You see it's blue now, which indicates it's paired with the receiver, but it also has that built-in denoise mode. You just press this little button here on the side, you hold it for a few seconds, it'll turn green and denoise will be enabled. Now I went ahead and turned on my space heater here. So now I'm gonna turn on denoise mode. All right, so it's green. And hopefully you can tell the difference between denoise and no denoise. It does do a fairly good job of blocking out some of the ambient sound, but it comes at the expense of overall sound quality because I find the, that the denoise uh, is pretty aggressive in the way it works. So you just kind of have to balance that out depending on your scenario. So final verdict with the Kamiko Vimo S, like I said before, nothing groundbreaking, but it is a solid everyday use microphone and it's gonna definitely improve the sound, sound quality uh, when compared to something like an internal microphone on a camera. So for that, it's pretty good. And there's also lots of little bells and whistles. You've got, of course, the wireless charging case that you know everything stores away in really neatly. So you get the two, the, uh, two transmitters, you get the receiver that magnetically all just stores away very conveniently. Um, and then you have the 15 hours of battery life that the whole package gives you. The receiver has the stepless gain knob. 
you have the pass-through charging capability and the zero latency monitoring capability, stereo and mono modes, denoise, all that mute, all that pretty good package overall. My biggest beef with this whole thing though is the build quality of this wireless charging case. It doesn't instill much confidence at all. In fact, I would be hesitant to throw this in a bag. I don't think it's gonna stand up to the rigors of road travel at all. But if you're someone who babies your products, if this is just staying in your home or just on your shelf and you only pull it out when you need it, then yeah, it's gonna do perfectly fine. Uh, and I feel like the transmitters, they're built fairly well. It's just the wireless charging case that kind of lends a little bit of pause with regard to build quality. So for you know roughly hundred bucks though, I think it's a pretty good package. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with Cellular.